So welcome everyone. Once again, this is Kevin from CSMI in Australia. Today I'm going to share with you um, the start sequence of the EX9700. So let's get into it straight away. Firstly, thank you for all your questions and your comments on the previous videos. And if you have any more, you can email us at info at CSMI or you can leave a comment below. Now I've gone inside and I put a battery in. Let's get the camera close so you can see this. Okay, you've got two switches up here. This one is for the main power and this one is actually for the battery indicator. And you can actually put it on and then you can see it's got three LED lights and then it's got a red light that tells you the battery is low and that's the main power switch. Uh, you can get the readout of the battery uh, in the digital screen on the inside um, up there. Uh, and it also tells you the pressure. There's also another uh, gauge, pressure gauge in up here. See if I can get the camera a bit more closer. You can see there's another pressure gauge uh, in there, so you can get a mechanical um, a reading from the from the manual pressure gauge. Uh, there's an oil gauge up here that tells you the level of the oil in the tank. So let's get straight into it. There's a couple of things um, everybody must keep in mind if you are into RC. This is especially if you're a beginner, if you're in a professional already using it, you probably know this anyway. Um, all speed controllers must be in the zero position. Uh, before you start otherwise they will not arm themselves and hence your machine will not start now this particular dial is for the volume of the sound the next one is for the hydraulics this one is not in use so let's go ahead and um, kick start this thing so you can see the first thing i'm going to do is start the hydraulics up here using this dial knob now i, I usually use it at 2.3 bar that's what uh, i'm comfortable with you can go higher I wouldn't go too much higher because it's going to bring no value anyway, but 2.4 uh, is pretty ideal for this particular machine. Uh, this is the volume knob, so what I'm going to do is increase this uh, to match the dot, and here you can hear the machine start using the switch. So if you flick, if you flick the switch up, this particular switch, if you flick it up, it will actually start you got it's a three-way switch you flick it down you got a horn right so i'm going to flick it up and come back to the center and that's when the engine starts over there now because it's going to be hard um while i'm talking i'll just do a demo so you can hear what the sound uh what it sounds like and then i'll go through the functions again Okay, so that's the car body rotation using the left joystick, left and right. Okay. Now, the right hand joystick up and down is for the main boom. So I'm going to pull it down and you can see what happens to the boom. Okay, now, the right hand joystick, left and right, is actually for the bucket so let's see if you can see this okay and then the left hand joystick up and down is for the stick now the screen is all touch screen so it's pretty um, it's pretty cool you have what you call the engineering model so you can name all the functions you don't have to use the standard um, I'm going to turn the sound off so you can hear me talk and the hydraulics um, so you can basically if you select this engineering model you can name all this all the stick boom whatever you want you can customize each single channel you don't have to use the aviation terms uh, on it now let's go further and uh, this particular switch is for the quick connects I need to work out the lights because I haven't played with the machine long enough, so I can't really remember some of the functions. So this one up here is for the lights. So let's um, bring this up here. Okay, the first flick away from you gives you all the lights on, and then you bring it back to the center. It takes the boom lights off and it keeps the lights on the car body on. So lights on, lights off, all lights on. Well, if you get the machine, you can just toggle to the switches and that will give you an idea uh, of what does what. You got two slides up here on the radio 
on the side. So I'll show you the orientation, the two of them. And they're used for the quick connect uh, that we are now developing for this machine, the four-way quick connect. So that's what the slides are going to be used for, um, these two on. Okay, so going further, um, now here's another thing. Here's another little switch up here. And if you hit this, what that does is it swaps the joysticks to the track. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this. I'm going to increase the sound. So I'm going to increase the sound. And now you can see the tracks move. So both the tracks are on two joysticks and when you hit this particular function it takes away the controls from uh, the upper carriage and then puts it onto the tracks. So it's a clean swap, it's very very easy but obviously if you get a different radio or with this radio it's possible to mix it so that you hit a switch and you can do all the functions on one particular stick. So stay tuned because that's what we're going to show on the next uh, particular video. So that's pretty much it on this um, this particular video. I'm just going to now turn the excavator. Okay, now this is all that we have on this video, but make sure guys, you're going to stay tuned on the next video because on the next video, we are going to go from this radio to this radio. And we're going to show you some advanced functions that we're going to do on this particular radio because that machine is going to be set up on my new Jetty DC24. The radio is that good. It's pretty much like it's sent by God himself because it's got so much of functionality. There's so many things that you can actually do. You've got a colored screen. You can put, a, you can put photographs of this particular machine. Lots of things that can be done. So I'll catch you on the next video. Make sure you're tuned in. As usual, it's Kevin from CSMI. If you like this video, do subscribe. Uh, drop us any questions if you have in the comments below. Email us or you can buy this machine from our website, which is csmi.com.au. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good evening.